There was another flash of light in the holy woods to the east. Father seemed greatly concerned. He checked his maps and consulted with Petrus. They came to swift accord. The army he dispatched would certainly have been in the area. They were deep enough in discussion that I could slip out for practice. My abilities continue to improve. I can now place the coins on target from 20 paces. The force of the blow is increasing as well. I still cannot communicate with the spirit. I can feel its presence in me like a warm roast in the stomach. Sometimes I feel its emotions, but they're strange and incomprehensible. Reflections from a box of broken glass. Varian returned alone, bearing the battle standards of the expedition. He was the only survivor. When the light struck, every other man fell lifeless. He was evasive about his own survival. Father suspected treachery, but I spoke up, assuring him Varian is too simple for schemes. Father cannot sense, as I can, the spirit hovering within him. Not that I was concerned for Varian. He is a blundering oaf, perpetually unshaven and smelling of hard labor with a forest of hair upon his forearms. If his appearance were not repulsive enough, his personality is disgraceful. He speaks to me as if I were a woman of his own rank, takes nothing seriously, and constantly makes off-color jests. I would pity any lady who permitted herself affection for such a hapless man. Even if I did enjoy his company, it's not my place to choose so father constantly reminds me. He has narrowed my match down to several bankers. One of them is as young as 43, so there remains some hope of contentment. <laughs>